Hi everyone, thanks a lot for watching this short video on how to configure CyberArk identity to be able to do the scheme provisioning for your AD users and group to the AWS IAM Identity Center or formerly known as SSO. So now how you can kick the entire setup? Again, you can follow the CyberArk documentation. So CyberArk documentation do cover a step-by-step -step guide uh, apart from that, you can follow my previous, my YouTube video. So you can scan this QR code. Using this QR code, it will redirect you to the appropriate YouTube video, what I created a couple of months back. Using this video, you will be able to set up quite a number of things in terms of the entire integration. So this is what I did in my previous demo. Again, I showcased how to enable AWS SSO or AWS ARM Identity Center, how to create the permission sets and how you can set up a SAML trust between CyberArk Identity and the AWS SSO. Apart from that, we looked at the scheme provisioning as well. In the last video, we looked at the scheme provisioning primarily for the local users and the group. In today's video, we will be looking at some of the configuration you might have to do if you want to configure or if you want to provision your AD users and group. So this is the whole idea of this specific video. If you want to do a end-to-end -end setup, the way you can see it in my screen, so what you have to do, you have to follow my previous video first and then make the appropriate changes. So what I'll be showcasing today uh, for the scheme provisioning for AD users and groups here. So these are the few simple steps we will be performing and we will be showcasing. The first step is you will be setting up a CyberArk AD connector. Using this connector, uh, CyberArk identity will be able to communicate with your AD. Second thing is there will be some, uh, uh, some configuration needs to be done uh, pertaining to AD users and the groups with the identity role. So this is what we will be looking at there. And so then we will be able to see okay, all the appropriate users and all your AD groups will automatically get provisioned to AWS SSO or IAM Identity Center. Last but not the least, we will carry out a very simple test. So let's uh, see, check the configuration together. So here, what we will do, so first I'll go to my CyberArk Identity. Again, you should be able to log in into your CyberArk identity. So let me log in. So you should be enabling MFA on your identity at this station once you do that. So here, what I did, I created a web app. So web app is a AWS IAM Identity Center app. So in the AWS Identity Center app, you will be able to see all the trust. Again, it's pretty standard. So we will be, today we will be looking at the provisioning setting. So what all things to be done. So before we look at the provisioning setting, so let me show it to you what I did. So here, if I go to my uh, active directory, so I set up my AD, my, my domain name is scsolutionsdemo.com within that domain, what I did, I created a couple of like users, AWS, AWS2, AWS4. And similarly, I have created a couple of users around GCP, GCP, GCP2. And apart from that, I created a couple of groups called AWS Cloud. If I go to the member, you are able to see like all the different uh, members, AWS, AWS2 and AWS4. And if I go to the GCP cloud, you are able to see all the different members, GCP and GCP2. In today's demo, what we will try to do, we will try to provision all the appropriate users of this specific uh, security group, AD security group called AWS cloud. So this is what we will try to do. So here, this is my active directory setting. So if I go to my identity connector again, uh, I installed this identity connector on the same VM as AD. Ideally, you should be installing it in a different VM. So let me click it on the connector. Yes. 
So here we see the AD is configured properly. If I look at the AD connector, so my AD connector is up and running. So we will look at to the identity administration in the identity administration that go to the network. On the network, you are able to see my AD connector is up and running. So this is the first and foremost configuration. So let me log in into my AWS IAM Identity Center. So at this moment, you see there are no users are configured. So if I go to my identity again, let's go to the web apps, AWS IAM Identity Center. So all the configuration, uh, so you should be able to do it, uh, leveraging upon my previous video, or you can look at the CyberArk documentation. So, so few things what we have to do, from the permission standpoint, so what I did, I already assigned a permission. So what you can do, you can simply search on an AWS cloud. So this is my AD group. On the basis of this AD group, you can assign the permission here. So it's already been assigned the permissions. So probably I'll delete this. So this is on the permission side, what you have to do. So the most important thing is on the provisioning side, So on the provisioning side, again, well, AWS IAM Identity Center, it do support a scale-based provisioning. So you have, to, uh, you have to configure all these things. And so these, here is some of the most important thing. The first thing, what you will be doing, you will be configuring the uh, sync user to target application. This is the first thing. Uh, so basically, it will try to update the account information in the target apps. So this is the first thing. Second thing is we will be synchronizing uh, all the groups, all the AD groups uh, from the uh, from the AD side to the AWS IAM Identity Center. It will be done, and then so so here on the user deprovisioning option, I'm just keeping it as a very simple. So if the user gets deprovision on the ident on the AD side, user will automatically get deleted here. So here, one of the things what we will be doing, we will be looking at the role mapping. In the role mapping, so what we have to do, we have to see first, what are the different users you wanna provision it on the AWS IAM Identity Center. So in this particular case, uh, so what I did, I went to my identity roles. So I went to the AWS Access. So here, so you have to add all the appropriate users. So all these users will get provisioned on the target application. So here, uh, so I'll be adding my AWS AD group. Uh, and so once I'm able to add it, once I'm able to save it, so this is the first step. Then the second step is in the web app. So you go to the AWS ARM Identity Center in the provisioning. So you can, in the role mapping, you have to simply add it and you will be picking up like one of the user group like aws access this group is uh, this role is already added let me delete it and then we can try to configure it together so here if you see i'm just configuring the aws access you just have to add it you don't have to define any kind of a destination group at all and you have to simply save it so once you save it so so what's gonna happen? So whatever the members, whatever the users are present in this AWS Access role uh, or the AWS Access Cloud, uh, X, AWS Cloud, so all these users will automatically get provision. So it takes around like five to 10 minutes for the users to automatically get provision just to, to, uh, just to pasten up this uh, specific uh, demonstration, what I'll do, I'll, I'll go to the outbound provisioning and we will do it uh, manually. So I will simply click on this and it takes like a couple of seconds for the users and the groups to get provisions. Mm, so here the users, three users got provisions. And I and the and the groups also going to get added. So let's see. So here, 
we see, so so there are two AD groups like DNS admin and DNS update proxy. Those groups didn't get added because they don't have any associated email address. So by default, all the groups are going to get added, all the AD groups. So when it comes to the users, so the users present in the AWS access role, only those users are going to get added onto the AWS IAM Identity Center. Let's go to the AWS IAM Identity Center. First, let's look at the group. So here you see all the three groups. Uh, so present in my AD, all these groups got provisioned. Again, if you want to exclude uh, any of these groups, so it, it is possible. Again, you have to check on the Cybrac documentation. Let's look at the users. So on the user perspective, so if you remember, I, I had like three different uh, users, part of my AWS cloud and those, that group I added into the AWS role, all the users uh, got provision. So now the user provisioning is done. So, 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 uh, so in a way, so once the user provisioning is done, so then what you can do, so as a user, I can simply log in to my account, to my identity account using my AD credential, and then you will be able to see AWS app, and then you will be able to access the AWS AM Identity Center. So this is what concludes the today's demonstration. Again, I'll be putting together a few more videos around GCP. And in the future, so we will be looking at some of the just-in-time access videos from CyberArk as well. Thanks a lot, everyone, for watching this short video.